In this video, we're going to take a look at simplifying expressions involving exponents using various properties. For this first one, we've got 3r squared times negative 3r cubed. It's important to notice that we're just multiplying. It's written in parentheses so that that negative is with the 3 clearly, but it's just multiplication. So we can multiply the 3 times the negative 3 to give us negative 9 and then if we combine those R terms remember if we're multiplying terms that have the same base we're gonna add the exponents so R to the second times R to the third is gonna give us R to the fifth power so here in this case we're multiplying those things so we add the exponents let's take a look at this next one in this case we have a power to a power so what we're gonna do is take each piece that's within this parenthesis and we have to take that to the second power we're gonna square that so the 4 is gonna be squared so 4 squared then we have f to the fifth and that's gonna be squared when we have a power to a power we need to multiply those so 5 times 2 gives us f to the tenth and then we have g remember this is just g to the first and we're gonna take that to the second power 1 times 2 is just 2 so g squared and then we've got this stuff over here which we can just bring along we don't need to do anything with that at this point so let's write that down here again and then let's see if we can do any more combining of terms well we've got some F's here and some F's here so let's go ahead and combine those here's 10 F's that are being multiplied and this is 1 so add the exponents remember 10 plus 1 that's F to the first power so we're gonna have F to the 11th we can also do the constant terms we have 4 squared 4 squared will be 16 remember 4 times 4 and then we've got 16 times 2 which is going to be 32 finally we'll look at the g terms here we have g squared and g to the third we're going to again add those exponents since those two things are being multiplied and we are left with g to the fifth alright let's take a look at one where there's some division remember when we're dividing exponents we subtract those exponents from top to bottom so but let's start with the constant terms the whole numbers here at the beginning we have 9 divided by 3 well 9 divided by 3 we know is just 3 now we've got k to the third on top and k to the fifth on the bottom we can subtract the exponents so 3 minus 5 is negative 2 so we have k to the negative second power then the m terms we have m to the eighth over m squared subtract m to the sixth now we can't be simplified if we still have that negative power there we need to get rid of that k is to the negative second power so what we need to do is take the reciprocal of that in other words flip that and then that power will become positive so we have still have the 3 on the top the k is gonna go to the bottom that k term so it's k squared on the bottom and then we have m to the sixth remaining on the top alright let's go to the second row here and take a look at a few more examples in this one again we'll start by simplifying the constant terms 16 divided by 2 is just 8 then what do we do with those um, exponents when we're dividing we subtract so we have negative 2 minus negative 5 remember minus a negative is plus so negative 2 plus 5 would be p to the third on top and then we've got negative 3 plus negative 4 or excuse me minus a negative 4 that's gonna be plus 4 minus the negative 4 gives us plus 4 so negative 3 plus 4 gives us just q to the first and of course we don't have to write that first power 
Alright, now, this one we've got a negative power. We need to get rid of that negative power so we can simplify, and we'll do that by flipping it. So, we have that negative 3 over 2 on the inside. That's going to be flipped to become negative 2 over 3. Now that's still to the third power, not the negative third power, but the third power since we flipped it. And then what we do is we take each part of that fraction and we're going to take that to the third power. So 2 to the third power, actually that negative 2 we'll take into account here. Negative 2 to the third power, that would be negative 2 times negative 2, which would be 4 times negative 2, which would be negative 8 over 3, 3 to the third power, 3 times 3, which is 9, times 3 again, which will give us 27. And finally, here we have an expression, and we've got this whole piece to that negative second power. So what we're going to do is flip that whole thing down to the bottom to get rid of that negative power. So we have 6m to the fourth, n to the third, that's on top, I just rewrote it, over this part's going to the bottom. So we have negative 3m squared n to the third. Okay, now we're just going to simplify. We're doing division here again, and so we subtract those exponents. So first, but let's do the constant terms. 6 divided by negative 3 is negative 2. Then we're going to subtract those exponents. 4 minus 2 is just 2, so m squared. And finally, n to the ninth and n to the third subtract. 9 minus 3 is n to the sixth. All right, so properties of exponents, some of them that we looked at. Remember, if we're multiplying, we add the exponents. If we're multiplying, we add the exponents. If we're taking a power to a power, here we had f to the fifth squared, we need to multiply those exponents. If we're dividing, we need to subtract the exponents from top to bottom, subtract. If we have a negative exponent to get rid of that, we flip that to the bottom. And one other one that uh, is another property of exponents that we didn't mention in this case is the zero. Okay. Anything to the 0 power is defined as 1. So 4 to the 0 power would just be 1. Um, negative 2 to the 0 power would just be 1, and so on. I hope this is helpful. Good luck.